Hello, happy Monday, everyone. So hopefully everyone had a great weekend and, you know, Mondays are work days, let's put it that way. So um, I thought I'd do a quick video on a really good article I read and it was on sports psychology. So obviously with the weekend, if you're a football fan, you probably saw a lot of football like I did. So I love college football. I love pro football. And, um, you know, I just love athletics in general. And I kind of like... Um, learn a lot from athletics that I kind of apply either to my work life or to my musician or musical life, let's put it that way. So in any event, though, I came across a, a really good article and it talked about how great athletes are developed or how they actually get get better. Um, I was like looking at Tom Brady, obviously on Fox Network, and people expect him to be this great announcer. So not everybody's skill sets translate, let's put it that way. But in any event, though, I thought I could learn something, or at least we could talk a little bit about what I would call, um, they had 24 points about how um, these extremely, extremely good athletes go from good to great. And I, I'm picking out five of these points, and I think it's very um, useful or something that um, would help us, um, you know, five ways to think about it that we can really become really good guitars or really good musicians, put it that way. I'm going to start a little bit backwards because I'm going to count down from five to number one and then talk about a couple of the other, I guess, um, 19 other things that they talked about, but not all of them in general. So number five for me was um, as we are in the pursuit of getting better as guitar players and musicians and people in general, is the ability to accept criticism. No matter what we do and how we play, there will always be people who tell us that we need to play it better, uh, slower, faster, more accurate. But we have to accept that because sometimes there's something that precedes the word criticism, the other C word, which is constructive criticism. Um, we're all striving to be better. And part of being better is learning to hear um, other people's feedback and take that in stride and work on that. So, and it's something I have to work at. I'm like, say for example, I'm not a good classical guitarist. I play stuff too fast, wrong notes and things of that nature. I'm not as good of a jazz guitarist as I wanna be. So sometimes, you know, um, I do want that feedback. Let's do it that way. So that's number five, except criticism. Number four uh, for me about the five ways to get good at guitar or to just get good at any endeavor is to set ambitious but um, um, uh, realistic goals. I think far too often we're too harsh on ourselves because the goals that we set are way out of line um, in terms of our abilities, in terms of reality, and we really have to set goals, obviously, but it's got to be realistic, even if it's ambitious, and you know we got to strive for those things. So I would put that as number four. So number five, accept criticism. And number four about goal setting, which is set ambitious but realistic goals. Number three, ah, I always end every video with practice, 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 practice some more. Uh, this is related to practice. It says practice until your skills become natural. Okay. Um, as I get better at something, so um, I'm, I swim every morning. Okay. I'm not a natural swimmer. I didn't even learn to swim until I was later um, on in my life and everything, but I swim every morning. And I practice and practice. I wanted to be at the level where when I'm in the water, it's like breathing. It's not a hassle. Um, you know, um, cutting through the water, tarking, uh, pushing back, everything. It just becomes very, very natural. So whatever you do, always practice. You want it to be like breathing on land because we're terrestrial animals, not in water. Where it's so natural, uh, you practice until the skills of playing. You could play guitar with your eyes closed. It should be like breathing. And that comes with practice. You know, there's, um, you know, I don't want to be hokey and say there's 10,000, um, you know, our rules like Malcolm Gladwell's book, but you need to practice and you need to practice correctly and you need to practice so it becomes natural. So again, accept criticism, um, set ambition, but realistic goals, uh, practice until your skills become very, very natural. Number two, tend to the basics first. Let me say that again, tend to the basics first. A lot of times people advance or think that they should be advancing, but they have not mastered the basics, okay? And guitars and other endeavors too. I've seen this happen even with like cello. Um, when I started learning the cello, I would watch all these people uploading, trying to play Bach cellos uh, on a company suites. Hey, I've been playing for six months. And I, 
No, you shouldn't do that. You need to get the basics down. When in cello, it's about holding the, the instrument. It's about breath control. It's about bowing control. And it's the same thing with guitar playing or any endeavors. You need to get the basics under um, under your, your fingers and your heads. That means playing in first position. That means um, learning how to hold a guitar, learning how to tune the guitar properly, um, learning how to form, uh, form, form, uh, form, form um, you know, cowboy chords. You've got to get the basics, how to switch from an A minor to an E minor to the G. You don't start with some advanced things, and I call it like learning like Swiss cheese, like you know some advanced things, but some stuff that are very, very basic you haven't mess mastered. So you need to tend to the basics first, okay? So that to me is number two. All right, so we have accept criticism, set ambition, but realistic goals, practice until your skills become natural, tend to the basics first. And number one, okay? Number one for me out of that article was get a good coach. I can't stress this enough. And it's funny, I'm more or less, I you know think I'm self-taught, but at some point you've got to get somebody that's going to help you that can sit outside of yourself to make comments and to teach you um, a better way. There's one of the things you look at, if you look at really great athletes, whether it be Tom Brady, whether it be Lamar Jackson, I'm going to mention football players uh, for this, uh, no matter who they are, Olympians, we just had the Olympics um, and things of that nature. So no matter how good they are, we got to get beyond, oh my God, natural talent takes you and does everything else. Of course, they're naturally talented. Of course, they're naturally talented. If I were to go outside right now and I went to the playground and a kid's running, I can tell you who the fastest kid is, who's the strongest kid, who's the kid who can jump the highest. Even him or her, need some level of coaching and training to get better. So a good coach will take you to that other level, okay? I don't care where you find him or her, you need to get a really good coach. And to me, that's the best advice possible. If it's within your you know, realm, it's not a new guitar, it's not a new pedal, it's not a new amp. Invest in the education and I believe in the humanistic touch if possible. So those are the my top five. There are some other elements to repeat. Accept criticism, set ambitious but realistic goals, uh, practice until your skills become natural, um, to tend to the basics first, and number one for me is get a good coach. There's no such thing as um, 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 just, just getting better just by yourself. Um, you can benefit from a great coach. So there are some other things that were mentioned in this article because as I taught, spoke earlier, there were 24 things that they talked about. Um, one of them was, uh, you know, in terms of ath athletics is to stay clear of intoxicants. Um, a lot of people have used steroids and things to get a little bit better. But at the end of the day, it's about that. And there was also some discussions about, um, um, which I actually like, was um, one that I didn't include in my top five, was to be patient. Um, um, so a lot of times we want to be a little bit too fast. Another one that came up uh, in terms of how these athletes became really, really good was to allow room for flexibility, meaning that, you know, um, it's kind of like improvisation. If you practice too much and you over practice, um, you tend to just be working off of rote memorizations and you, flexibility means that it's within the moment and the bass player may play something a little bit different than what you anticipate and that takes you into another uh, uh, direction. So in the, uh, in the art form of jazz, just allow for some flexibility. And another thing was uh, to obviously, in this case, they learn from other athletes, okay? And so in my sense is um, probably should have made the top five is obviously to learn from other musicians and to listen to other musicians. So there you have it, my top five, um, five ways to get good at guitar from this article extrapolating it about athletics. Um, again, to me, even though I did say get a good coach, it's always practice, 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 no matter what. So all right then. Thank you for watching and enjoy. And of course, practice, practice, and practice some more.